hello and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is alice and i'm going to be showing you how to add time stamp to your time lapse image here i have a maximum projected uh, time lapse images showing the different uh, developmental stage of my sample it's easy, it's easy to do this let's make a duplicate of these uh, time lapse frames there are two ways to add stamp to your time lapse images. It's very easy to do. You can either go through plugin, stacks, time stamper. This will open this window that asks for the starting time and the time between frame. You can also decide on the size of your font. That's the fonts of the time that will be displayed on your time lapse images. And you can decide if the time is in second or in minutes so if the starting time is zero and the time between frame is a 10 minute interval we'll write here 10 and just click ok you can see this font is really small so i'm going to repeat that and um, click on uh, the time stamper again so I'm going to increase this font size to let's say 40 and here you can see your timestamp and this should play 10 minutes apart. That's one way to add timestamp. The second way is to go through image, stacks and label. For me, the I prefer to use this uh, method of image, stacks and label function because it provides me with a better layer stamping option. You can choose any of these formats. I prefer the one that displays the time lapse in minutes, hour, and second. If the starting value of your, that you want to show is zero, and the time in, in between these uh, frames is 10 minutes, remember 10 minutes, if you convert it to second, it will be 600. And that's why here I have 600. Also, I'm going to be leaving the font at uh, 40. And I will click the overlay function and say OK. So this is the second option. You see that with the first one, it just shows your time in this format. Meanwhile, with the second one, you can see the time changing. Because this one will just keep counting up in 100 minutes, 20 minutes. But this can actually show that, oh, now it's one hour. It's one hour, 30 minutes or so. And go ahead and save your image using the save function. Save as AVI. Another interesting thing to note is this frame per second. In the time lapse image I open here, it's a nine frame or time lapse for 90 minutes. If I had about 200 uh, frame, I would play with the frame per second to the frame per second shows the speed at which the, the sample will be playing. So if I choose one, it's going to play as nine second because it will play each frame as a second. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. And the second option is if I save this as three frames per second is only going to play for three seconds meaning to play three every uh 30 every 30 minutes so it will just be oh i have to rename that now let's go to our desktop and check what we've and check the sample that we've saved so here is the one that we played as you see it's played it's a very short video because it was nine frame and it's played for just three seconds. Compared to the second one that we saved as one frame per second, you see this is going to play longer. So that's one thing you should note when you are adding a time stamp to your time lapse or uh, images. If you find this tutorial useful, please remember to click the thumb up button. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. It really gives me courage to produce the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.